I don't even know what I'm finna cook. Man, I'm going crazy. You better like and subscribe. You don't need me putting this shit on for real. Alright, for real, but what am I gonna cook? Man, the pants I seen this morning on TikTok was pretty hard. Man, what is good with y'all? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Nostalgia New World Order, Young Fine 99 xx Whatever you know me as, I don't care. We're here today to cook up a crazy piece, man. For all my fashion heads out there, I know y'all been seeing the F649, the LGB denims, man. I need a pair. I need a pair on my legs, bro. I'm trying to look mysterious and funky. I'm trying to have motherfuckers walk up in a function like, who is bro over there? I need that. So... Um, I already got the denim seam teared up. So now all we have to do is start just like the last video. I'm going to throw in some flares, flare the heck out of it. Y'all just come along with me, man. Let's go. Let's make these LGB and 649 inspired pants, man. Let's go. All right, man. Just like the last video, you can go ahead and throw them flares on. I'm drawing it out and I'm cutting it out. This time they were just a tiny bit too long. So I cut a few slits here and there to take out a half an inch. And all I'm doing is cutting them and re them back together. Nothing too complicated. But basically when I cut those out, it shortened my flares just long enough to be able to put them up beside the crotch of the pants and be the exact length. So you can see I added about six. I'll add as many as I got to, as long as they fit in like this. You know, they line up perfect. From there, we're gonna go ahead and attach them. So now we got a pair of crazy flares. And here's what they're looking like all flared up. We're not even done yet, cause I got some more for y'all. Day one, round two. Now that we got that first set of flares on there, I also wanted to slit right here and add another one right here. Cause we're going super flare. Y'all see they be skinny and super flare. That's how we gotta make them. So let's get to it. Look, man, I ain't finna show y'all how to flare step by step. I got a video for that. Watch this video if you wanna learn how to do it. But here I'm just pinning them up so I can go ahead and sew them down. Or attempting to pin them up. That boy's struggling, ain't he? Jesus. Bro, get it together. Come on now. I'm trying to see some pans get cooked up. You taking forever, twin. Jeez, finally. All right, so go ahead and sew them up. You want to do the same thing to the other leg. Yep, yep. Sew that boy up. Now, boom. Now you got yourself a pair of super flares. Video done. Y'all go, go rock, though. But not for real. These are hard by themselves. All right, so the next part, low key, I was just distressing for days, just like the last distressed and darn video. So just enjoy these beats by yours truly. Y'all just vibe out. The first day I just hit it with the Dremel, went as hard as I could, wherever I wanted to. second day you know I want to be outside I want to be in nature the silly goose and cocoa here I'm just doing a little hand distressing because my Dremel was charged up bro don't ever get the Dremel from Harbor Freight like I might as well got it from Walmart might as well have been hyper tough you know I got tired of silly goose crawling on me so I had to show her who's captain I 
I don't think I've done a video on hand distressing yet, but if y'all like, you know, drop it in the comments. I can show y'all that. It's just a cleaner way of doing it than with the Dremel. More precise. Here, Silly Goose was stalking me like a gargoyle, but she jumped down as soon as I changed the camera angle. Oh, funky cat. Here's how they look. And as you can see, the ones that look rougher are the Dremel and the ones that look more precise are the hand distressing. So like I said, just let me know if y'all want a video on that. The nighttime sesh, finally got the Dremel charged up. At this point, I'm just distressing where I want to with the Dremel and then adding the light distressing like I did in my last video in specific spots. Alright, last day of distressing. All I really gotta do is the light distressing on that front panel on the right. And then do the main distressing on the panel on the left. And a little light distressing as well. Let's get into it. There we go. Finished them up. The boy's looking nice and crispy. That's the back side. Now all we gotta do is put that back in fabric on. And to do that, I'm hitting it with that quilting basin spray. And I'm also hitting it with fabric glue. Letting that set so we can just do our thing. I had to wait between the legs because the fabric glue had a pretty long dry time. But if you use the quilting spray, it should be good. That's a quick set. And do these anywhere you basically don't want to show your knees. If you want to have them blown out, be like a little Balenciaga boy, go ahead and do that, you little freak. But for me, I'm going to cover them up. Okay, so all the distressing is done. So we're here at the Gualmar and we're gonna look for some sort of pre-made chain or some type of wire that I can make some chain out of to put around the distressing things seen here. So let's go in there and get some chain. All right, so um, these are the ones I decided to go with. And I decided to go with these because there's some functional one. Uh, th uh, there's some functional ones I can use, and then I can also take those apart from the other ones and then use those ones on the pants as well. I won't be able to do them in mass like in the picture, but these are the closest one to the vibe that I'm going for for the dye bath. Yeah, they're like I said, they're functional. So let's throw these on the pants so we can go ahead and get to the exact. Or I guess, now that I think about it, I guess we should zigzag first, but let me think about where I want to put them on the pants so when it's time to zigzag, it's not that much of a, you know, let's get to it. Okay, so right here, I'm just busting down those clasps and deciding where I want them. Now we can go ahead and get to the zigzag. 
Um, this part really didn't take that long as it did last time because, you know, one, it's not the whole pair of pants. And two, I was experimenting with different ways. I'll have to show you guys at the end a little detail. Some of them I just went straight up and down. This one right here, I just zigzagged all the way on the outside. This one, I just went straight up and down on a little gradient, getting further apart. And some of them, I left the strings hanging. So just do whatever you want, do whatever feels right. This one I just sewed on the back and left the whole top part hanging out. All right, man, now that these things are done, we can go ahead and close them up and see how they look on body, bro. I decided to go ahead and put the hardware in after everything's said and done, just because, you know, I didn't want the zigzags to mess up the hardware or um, the die bath to mess it up. Not that they would, but you know, just to play it on the safe side. So I'm gonna close these up, show y'all a little sneak peek of how they fit. And then I might have to, um. Oh wait, we're not doing the die bath. I still gotta do the closure, bro. Oh. Alright, bro. Let me close them up. Should I close them up? I guess not. Alright, let's see what I'm gonna do for this closure. Alright man, let's speed run this thing. So I sew these right side facing each other, flip them inside out, top stitched them. Now all I have to do is chalk this down so I can cut these out the pan. First, you want to iron them, then go ahead and mark them down where you want to cut them out. Throw those on, did a little repair at the bottom. Then I cut these straps out. These straps are going to go on the side. I'll just make sure they were long enough. I'm spraying them down with this basting spray. I can fold them in half and do the same thing that I just did with that other panel. We're gonna sew them on the inside, then flip them inside out. Just like that. Now basically I'm just gonna sew these on and get some hardware in there so I can string them up. But before I put that hardware in them, I went ahead and took them to the color remover. Hit them with a little dye bath. Oh, I know the situation, just like the last video. A little bit of my black, whole lot of brown, whole lot of chocolate. I gave it a nice mud wash vibe. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, this video is taking me entirely way too long. Let's go ahead and get this hardware done, bro. All I gotta do is mark these four spots to put these eyelets, or well, eight spots, four on each side. Then I'm gonna go through, put my hardware down, the pants wherever I want them to, and that'll be that, bro. Let's 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 wrap it up. Cause... <laughs> All right, this part ain't really hard. It's just tedious. You want to go ahead and mark your four spots equidescent, then you know get some scissors and make the tiniest of holes, cause you want your eyelid to be able to fit through, but you still wanted to catch some fabric on the edges when you hammer it down. Hey man, look, I'm not even gonna cap to y'all, bro. Look, the eyelets, this is the only hardware and I just showed you how to do it. Um, Put the other ones anywhere you want, but low key, this duty is knocking, bro. This duty is knocking ever since I started this last eyelet. So I'm about to go, I'm about to go take this dookie, bro. I'll catch y'all whenever I find a black string to string these up with. The charms will be just be a surprise. I'll just show you where I put the other hardware at the reveal, bro. I'll catch y'all, I'm so sorry.
All right, man. Now that business is taken care of. I know I said a black string, but I went on a wild goose chase looking for this string, bro. Went to, went to, where did I go? I went to a leather place. They told me they didn't have any leather cords. So then I went to an upholstery shop. Bro told me to go to David Donaldson shoe shop. I go to the shoe shop. Bro got the cord. So I got three leather cords. I braided them up for y'all just to get them just like the six for nine. But like, these came out crazy, man. I tried to make a peace sign, but it turned into a skull right there under the lightning bolt. Two, two key clips, good distressing. These are probably my favorite pair I've ever cooked up. You see the fit I cooked up with it, man. I'm really putting it on, man. Y'all see me going up. Just, just stay with me. Stay tuned. I love y'all. Like and subscribe. NTA.NWO, man. You already know. Just enjoy these pants. And here's a little extra inspiration sauce for anybody that stayed to the end of the video. These came straight out of Walmart too. You know, and I just back tacked them in, out, in, out. It don't really take much to elevate your clothes, man. So that's my little tip for me to you since you stayed. Appreciate you.